Just stay low. We're almost out. Yes, yes. We've all heard about the fire, and we're very glad Trina's family is safe. It was really scary. What happened? My mom thinks it was the portable heater. Portable heater. So it all starts with a fire triangle: fuel plus heat. Plus oxygen, plus a chemical reaction, and you get fire. Actually, combustion. Very scientific. And almost anything can be fuel. Paper, books, furniture, clothing, plastics, oh, even us. Well, obviously, if there's no fuel, there's no fire. That's one. And water, of course, lowers the heat. That's two. And a bucket of sand on top cuts out oxygen. Well, just like when that guy at the science museum lit a candle inside a jar. Remember? Yeah, it used up all the oxygen and went out. That's three, three parts of the triangle. Whoa, whoa! One at a time. Most fires start when people leave the kitchen while something's cooking on top of the stove. Though matches, candles, and heaters cause trouble too when people aren't careful or do something stupid. As for a portable heater, it most definitely can start a fire, so it's got to be far enough away from anything combustible. Very scientific. And if you leave the room, always turn it off. Turn it off. And yes, smoke kills more people than fire, especially because it builds up so quickly and can hurt people even while they're asleep. Number one, plan at least two ways out. Then practice getting out. Hey, wait! I live in an apartment on the seventh floor, and there's only one door to the hallway. Well, then you better know what the alarm sounds like, and make sure the door is not hot before you go out in the hallway. Of course, you'd have to know two ways out, and use the one that's safer. And never take the elevator. Then straight to your family's outside meeting place. Where was your meeting place? The mailbox. 